Yesterday, the governor introduced additional restrictions. Uh, personally, I don't think they went far enough. Um, I think that, you know, the stopping point between where we are today and where, where the lockdown might look like would have been to try to maybe get this 25% occupancy and see if we significantly reduce occupancy of spaces and if we could get people to wear the masks all the time maybe we could bend this curve downward. Um, it's hard for Montgomery County to do it by itself. Not just secondary to the governor's press conference yesterday, but more in response to the numbers and where our surveillance data stands. We're continuing to assess and continuing to think through strategies that may include additional you know, restrictions and recommendations that will go into effect in the near future. We're not ready to announce any of those yet as we continue to look at the numbers. Now that said, we have discussed a couple of preliminary steps that um, in response to some of the actions that some of the other jurisdictions have taken, including uh, for social gatherings, for indoor settings, taking that and moving that from 25 to 10. Uh, these would be for social gatherings, uh, types of activities, and for outdoors at 25. And then looking at making, as the county executive referenced in his opening remarks, uh, making the, the, the you know face coverings required even when in outdoor settings, uh, which would be comparable to, you know, for example, the, the order that's in place in D.C. and what was recently put in, into place in Prince George's County. I also want to say that I understand the governor's got really difficult decisions to make. I've said it about my situation and my situation is certainly the same as the governor's situation. We're faced with basically two very difficult choices. You can either protect people and definitely cause harm to the economy, or you can open things up to try to protect the economy. And then the consequence of doing that is that we will increase the spread of COVID. The numbers have continued to trend in the wrong direction. Uh, the average positivity for the state is now uh, just shy of 7%. Ours is around 5.5%. All jurisdictions have rates above 10 per 100,000. 19 of the 24 jurisdictions have rates above 20, and nine jurisdictions have case rates that are now over 30 cases per 100,000, including all of the western Maryland counties, Baltimore City, Baltimore County, Harford County, Prince George's, Somerset, and Wacomico. And where our numbers stand, we're at 25 cases per 100,000. I think the numbers are at the point, again, that we've got to err on the side of human health, and we've got to have, we're going to have to shut things down more eventually. I don't think that, you know, that what he did is going to make a bend, is going to cause this thing to bend over the next two weeks. Last week I said, I hope he's right. I'm not confident that this is going to result in a downward trend. And at the end of the day, we really need the federal government to step in.